Libra, welcome to your August 1st through the 15th of 2018 tarot reading. My name is Serafina Safi and I present Enchanted Mirror Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I just, before we get started, just want to let you know that I am having a sell on my private readings. They're $20 for 40 minutes right now. And you can find that all out in the description box below. Also, I'm going to be selling pay-per-view um, on Libra career, Libra couples, and Libra singles. And they're only $4.99. So if you resonate with this, and you just want to know more about couples or more about singles or more about career, you can actually purchase those. They're $4.99 a piece. Uh, so that's a cool thing that I'm able to offer now. Uh, let's get started on your reading today. We are using the Vintage Oracle and we're using Tarot in Wonderland and Wonderland Tarot in a tin. So we're using three different cards today. What is the central theme of Libra's reading? What's the central theme of Libra's reading? Central theme of Libra's reading. Patience. Have patience. Find out more during the reading. Okay, so what's going on in Libra's internal world? What's going on in Libra's head? Three cards for what's going on in Libra's head. So I have um, we have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's perfectionism here. There's a lack of ambition, a lack of focus. We have the Four of Swords. There's mental overload and need for retreat. An enforced period of rest. Issues have got the better of you here. Uh, you're finding it hard to cope. This could be hospitalization or going through a breakdown. And that's in your energy. That's in Libra energy, that particular card. And then we have the Three of Swords. So there's heartbreak here. There's loss. There's deep sadness. There's upset. There's colossal misunderstandings. And then we're going to use the other tarot deck as a clarifier. So why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Libra? Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Libra? All right, I have the Hanged Man in the reverse. Um, so when the hit, this is Pisces energy, this is being obsessed with something, hanging on, you won't let go. It, there's hidden motives here and you're a little greedy. Why is the Four of Swords here? It's because of the Ten of Flamingos in reverse. So there's a release from pain. There's light at the end of the tunnel. There's new beginnings here. That retreat will do you some good. Why is the Three of Swords here? Why is the Three of Swords here? The world. Lasting success, perfection, attainment. So this is just a necessary, painful rite of passage. It needs to happen. And then you'll get, you'll come full circle. You'll get out of it. There is light at the end of the tunnel here. There is lasting success. Okay, what's going on in Libra's family and home life? Three cards for Libra's. Okay. I have the Queen of Cups in reverse. Two more cards. Okay. I have the Six of Wands in the upright. And I have the Ten of Swords. So when the Queen of Cups reverses, we have someone who's very manipulative, someone who's bitter, someone who's jealous. Uh, someone who's clingy, moody, um, si kind of silly. We have the Six of Wands. So this is success, victory, you're the winner. Strong leadership skills here, determination, receiving awards, being recognized. 
You should be proud of yourself with this card. You're leading while others follow. This is great news altogether. And then I have the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is a complete and total mental breakdown. Being backstabbed, severe conflict. This is abuse. So why is the Queen of Cups here? Because of the King of Hats. So that's a perfect couple, the Queen of Cups and the King of Hats. And they're both in the reverse. So even though they're in the negative aspect of themselves, they're still the perfect couple. So the King of Hats in reverse is the card of narcissism. He's overly emotional, moody, depressed. Um, he's a con man. He's addictions. If I remember right, I think Sagittarius got that last month, or it might have been you. Uh, but yeah, this is like the perfect couple in the reverse. Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Alright, so we have the Seven of Flamingos. No, the Eight of Flamingos, I'm sorry. The Eight of Flamingos. So you're searching for inner happiness. You're leaving an emotionally unfulfilling lifestyle. You're walking away. You're abandoning things. You're just taking a break. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Okay, it's because of the Eight, the eight of Hats. Searching for inner happiness. Leaving an emotionally unfulfilling I'm sorry. Being paralyzed by fear. Backed into a corner, feeling victimized, trapped, isolated, ignoring advice. What's going on with Libra's money? Three cards for Libra's money, please. So we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, so there could have been financial loss, major financial loss. We have the Four of Pentacles, so this is greed, materialism, um, saving up, being becoming a workaholic to make up for this financial loss. And then we have the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is trying to find meaning in life, soul searching, having multiple choices, being out of touch with reality. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? All right, I have the Ace of Oysters. So this is potential for new financial success, abundance, prosperity, saving for the future, investments that went bad and it caused you to lose. So you might have made some really bad investments. The Four of Pentacles is here because of the, the moon. You were manipulated. There's secrets. There are sorting things out for yourself. The answer lies from within, using your intuition, sleeping on it, but you didn't do that. But that's what you need to do. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Justice in the reverse. There was some sort of injustice. There might have been a divorce, lawsuits, inequality. Things just going against you, blaming others, being falsely accused. It's just an injustice altogether. Advice for Libra. Three cards for advice for Libra. Okay, one more card for advice for Libra, please. The dodo. <laughs> Right, so the first one is the Page of Swords, and he's in the reverse. So the Page of Swords in the reverse is um, malicious gossip, blaming, a spy, cold arguments, slandered, backstabbing, uh, nothing good to say in psychological abuse. The Ten of Wands in the reverse is uh, taking on too much, pessimism, a lack of direction, being burdened. 
And then we have the Emperor in reverse, and we have another card of narcissism here. So there's definitely somebody who is very narcissistic in your path. In your path, um, this is a very unsavory character. This is somebody who has massive anger issues. Someone who's irresponsible, impatient, selfish, greedy, unhelpful. Um, has a sense of entitlement lack of skills, lack of ambition, kind of like the bridezilla, out of control or a mafia boss. Um, it is a card of narcissism. Why is the page of swords here? Well, all three came out all at once, so I'm just going to do it like this. So the page of swords here is because of the, the seven of the Seven of Pepper Mills. So this is many challenges being thrown your way. You feel you're struggling to stay on top. You may have taken on too much. The Ten of Wands is here because you are coming out of heartbreak. You're releasing the past and coming out of heartbreak. The Knight of Hats is here because of the Emperor, and this is the other card of narcissism. So you are dealing with a narcissistic person. There is somebody here that has narcissistic personality disorder because we have the two cards of narcissism. There's only one more, and that's the Knight of Wands in reverse. This is a narcissist. Somebody who comes in, love bombs you, sweet talks, she sweeps you off your feet, and then says, hey, I'm done. And then, like, discards you after, before they abuse you. And then they come back, suck you back in, and the abuse is worse. And the best thing you could do is just go no contact with that person. There's no getting them back. You just need to cut that shit out. All right, so what's going on in Libra's social and uh, romantic life? Okay. What's this going on in Libra's social and romantic life? Alright. What's this going on in Libra's social and romantic life? Okay, all in reverses. So a lot of, like, everything came up upright in this row, and then everything's in reversed in this row. It's really weird. Alright, so we have the Two of Swords in the reverse. There's confusion, information overload. We have the Empress in reverse. This is a lack of growth, being unproductive, a lack of development, neglect, affairs, immaturity. Now we have Justice in the reverse, and this is your card. This is the card of Libra. And we have one that says, off with his head, and the other one that's pardoning, and writing all these pardoning letters. So there's the balance. Um, so this is divorce, lawsuits, inequality, things just going against you. There's an imbalance and you feel victimized. It could be over that narcissist because it's right above it. All right, so why is the two of swords here? Why is the two of swords here? All right, it's because of the Fool. So we could be dealing with an Aries. I'm getting strong Aries vibes here. Um, but the Fool is beginnings, a new phase, um, foolishness, freedom. Aries begins the Zodiac. The Fool begins the Major Arcana, and Arcana just means secrets. So it's the major secrets of life. And he begins it. He's number zero. He comes in. He... He doesn't know how to dress. He's just so innocent and carefree, young. Why is the Empress here? All right, it's because of the three, six of oysters. So this is charity. This is the hiring, firing card. So this could be the divorce card or the marriage card. Um, getting help, being, getting back on your feet, being rescued. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? It actually fell on the other justice. We have justice twice. 
But we are talking about you, Libra, and Libra is, justice is the card of Libra. So we have the two of pepper mills in the reverse. So there's a fear of the unknown, a lack of planning. All right, so what's going on in Libra's career? Three cards for Libra's career, please. All right, so we have the Four of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. All right, so in this all, well, actually, the Two of Pentacles came in the upright, but everything else is in the reverse. So I don't know why, but everything's in reverse. To me. It's all contrary-wise. So we have the Four of Cups in the reverse. I'm sorry, the Four, yeah, the Four of Cups in the reverse. This is boredom, a missed opportunity, being aloof. We have the Two of Pentacles. This is decisions about finances, decisions about people, juggling things, juggling multiple situations. And then we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. And this is hopelessness, walking away from something that's emotionally unfulfilling. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? All right, so I have the Knight of Oysters in the reverse. So the Knight of Oysters in the reverse is taking a break from work, financial insecurity, Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Oh, I hate when they fall. I know that it's meant to be, but I just, I just like hate when they fall. Only one fell too. So we have the Tower. There's sudden changes. Sudden, drastic changes. It's unavoidable. It's brutal. Um, Secrets are being revealed. Things are coming out of the bag. It's just very sudden. Why is the Eight of Cups here? The lovers reverse. There could be a divorce. There could be infidelity. There could be cheating. There could be jealousy, possessiveness, disagreements, communication breaks down, another breaking communication. Any other advice for Libra? Any other advice for Libra? Perception. Yeah, again, we have this narcissism. See the masks that she has? Narcissists wear a mask to cover their true identity. It's all about your perception. See through the mask, see who the person really is, and have patience. Because there is light at the end of the tunnel, things will get better. All right, Libra, thank you so much for joining me today. Again, if you'd like a private reading, they are on sale, 40 minutes for $20, which is a really good deal. And then also I'll be having pay-per-views on VMO. They'll be $4.99 and I'll have a Libra career, uh, Libra couples, and Libra singles that you'll be able to purchase pay-per-view. Um, those should be out before the end of August. If you want to pre-order them, then go ahead and shoot me an email at enchantedmirror@gmail.com. Um, if you want to wait and just check back, that's fine too. Um, I do actually recommend an email, so then as soon as they're done, I can just send it to you. Send you the link to the pay-per-view. But that's up to you, whatever you'd like to do. Well, thank you again, Libra. Um, hopefully I get them done before August the 1st, but I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. You know, <laughs> I, I've done that before. I kind of want to get them done tomorrow, to be honest. Get these done today and then get those done tomorrow because I have tomorrow off. Because I have a full-time job. <laughs> All right, well, thank you again, Libra. Have a great day.